Evening everyone, I hope everyone's doing well. Sorry for any colour disfigurement down the bottom down here. That's my phone acting up again. It always does this because, as I said before, the top bit up here, it was when the phone had a fight with the concrete and lost. So I have to keep pushing this damn thing in up top to make that disappear. But it won't stay like that, as you can see. So, I'll try that. It won't do much, but I just thought I'd provide a quick update before I go to sleep because I am a little bit exhausted right now. I wish I could have stayed longer at the rally. I stayed up until about 3.30. Live stream will be uploaded. Um, I will try to give you another update first thing in the morning, let you know basically what else went on from the time I was up there. I think I left as Carl Benjamin was giving his speech, aka Sargon of a Cad. But uh, there wasn't really much else to say on the matter, so just letting you know, I'm home safe, both of me. <laughs> but we're both home safe, and uh, I'm about to hit this thing, so until next time, folks. And Kier the Traitor Starmer, you taking Tommy Robinson and putting him in remand, holding that man so he couldn't attend the rally, that was a complete bitch move. The move of a coward. But then we already know you're a coward, Keir the Traitor Starmer. You're a fascist. You're a sectarianist bastard. You are a WEF shill. And more importantly, as said before, you are indubitably a traitor. So I guess I should have seen this one coming from a fucking mile away. But you won't beat us, Keir the Traitor Starmer. What you did to Peter Lynch? What you're doing to Tommy Robinson? You're doing it to intimidate us and scare us. You're about as intimidating as a jack-in-the-box. You're just a clown. All bark, no bite, like a chihuahua. You'll bark and you'll woof. But when a bigger dog comes for you, I bet you'll cry wolf. Just like that. We're coming for you, Keir the Traitor Starmer. And that protest is only the beginning.